This is some fishy weather. Welcome back, gang. We are on the Cape. We just wrapped up quite possibly one of my favorite Guggen Weeks ever, fishing and filming with Perrick, Lojo, Brian, and then, of course, Blackwell, who's sticking around and filming with us. Thankfully, Lojo's decided to stay one Yeet. extra day. Or I am. A few hours. A few hours. Before yeah. your flight. I'm gonna let you do the whole like actual name, but these are by far the hardest fighting fish pound for pound that I have ever hooked into. I'm sure there's more out there that are considered hard, harder fighting fish, but to me, these things, uh, they'll, they'll spool you. Let's just put it that way. Literally. First time we ever fished for them, first time we ever caught one, I got spooled. So we're gonna chase after these dudes right now. We've got pretty saucy weather and not in, not in the good way saucy. So we're, we're just gonna try not to sink the new whaler, get out there on some fish. I'm gonna follow my buddy Robbie around. He's on a school, so I'm just trying to make short work of all these spoons and uh, we'll get out there and hopefully come tight. Stick with the stay tuned and let's have a day. We're going after fake tunies. Epic, epic stuff. I'm excited. If we even get an opportunity today, I'm, I'll be happy. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. These fish are temperamental. I mean, they're temperamental. That's a, that's also a very nice way of saying they're assholes. So you may have already said this, but why? I mean, why do they call it a, a fake or a false I have no idea. albacore? Like, I think it's because it's truly a mackerel. It's true, yeah, it's technically but it a looks mackerel, like a tuna. It looks just like a tuna. That's a dumb. Just like just like uh, dog tooth tuna. Yeah, not, not a, a tuna. tuna. It's a mackerel. Yeah. A little confusing, right? The name for these fish should be called. It looks like a tuna, but not a tuna and a mackerel. I suppose that's kind of a mouthful, isn't it? Though. You excited? Very excited. Let's crush. Yeah, I hope we have an opportunity, man. Stop it. It's mint over here, man. A lot of breeze. Unreal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's on some right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Right there. Hold that. Gotta go slow. Get in there. Get in there. I'm way off. I'm way off. Way off. Yeah. Kind of to the left now. Yeah. Oh, there's colors, honestly. Birds still chilling. Get off the left. They're off to the, they're off to the, our left too, guys. Yeah, okay. They're off to go to the left. Go. They're way up. Okay. Keep, keep, keep going. Come on. Oh, you're on. Oh, you're on. Oh, Let's oh, go, oh, baby. Yes. Oh. Yes. 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 Come on, John. We gotta get double. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Gosh. Yeah, Lojo. That's what's up. I didn't know if he knows he's hooked up. Let's go. I know. I'm kind of waiting for him to come back up. Oh yeah, we're good. <laughs> These things are crazy! Dude, so you saw some to the left too? I didn't see one off to the left. Look at this! Look at this! No, and he, yeah, he's just steadily pulling drag. Dude, you guys, they're here. Right there. Let's go! Come on! I'm on, I'm on, I'm tight! I'm tight! Let's go, baby! Woo! Let's go! <laughs> yes! Let's go! Let's go! She's running at me. Woo! Oh, she's a screamer. <laughs> Look at that drag go, baby. Unreal. Unreal. Let's go, baby. Yes, sir. Get back. It's time for some revenge on these jokes. Yeah. Yeah. Unreal. This feels Let's decent. Go. How's it feel? Decent. Yeah? Yeah. It's like she's got some shoulders. The size that I saw, that's going to look pretty good. It was good. Great school. Wow, we got so lucky. Oh, nice yes. job, man. Good, good eye. We would have gone to the beach if you didn't I, see those I know, ones. right? Let's go. That's pretty good, man. Come on. You got to get some baby now. Go get them, boys! Oh, boys. Well, got them. Go get them! Go get them! I'm just like having PTSD with your fight. I'm like, I hope it's not this long. I know, right? <laughs> There we go, 
boys. Trying to get a little vengeance on these Albies. Really tough what happened with Lojo, but that happens. It could have been a an Albie expert and he still could have lost that fish. I'm hoping it's not a long fight because Lojo has a flight to catch in a few <laughs> hours. We gotta drive all the way back up to Boston. So this is uh if this we're gonna late, be interesting. We're late, okay? If we're late, we're late, we're late. yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Coming up, I see color. Yeah. yeah. Quite done yet. So sick. So sick. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's something ridiculously big. Albie fever is real. Let's go, dude. We got redemption, <laughs> we got man. Redemption. We got an Albie on the boat. Look nice. at their little little wings. These guys are designed to go fast and catch prey. So epic, man. So what freaking beauty. epic. Switch to Lojo's jig where she had the success <laughs> on, and that's all it took. I was just throwing too big of a of a jig earlier. Take a look at that fish, man. These things are so epic. Oh, look at them. He just they're full of muscle. All right, let's get this guy back so he lives. Thank you for playing, my guy. Thank you for playing. Back down she goes. Look at this. This is something really interesting. So, this is currently what these fish are feeding on right now. I assume it's some sort of like little glass minnow. And in comparison, this is the bait that we're throwing. A little bit off colored, but it's same profile and same size. How epic and yeah. perfect is that? It's amazing, dude. Wow, the fish spit up a ton. <laughs> the whaler, we got it pretty greasy. We got the whaler pretty greasy this trip, and I'm glad. Full of blood, kelp, dead minnows. Like, white claws. Just epic. Empty white claws. <laughs> We're probably gonna give this like 10 more minutes, then we're gonna head back up to Boston and drop our buddy off. You should just Hell stay, yeah. man. Let's Dude, just I know, right? Stay. We got one more to just stay. We'll just I, I tell you what, after the fight that I was in and lost, yeah. I would love nothing more. Well, now you have an excuse to come back. Dude, for sure. Serious, for sure. For sure. What is cranking, wieners? Welcome back to Cape Cod. This has gotta be one of the most New England settings I think I've ever seen. We've got breeze, we've got fog. A little bit of overcast, and we are on the Atlantic Ocean. This is our last day here for the early September bite. Filmed an epic Guggen week. If you guys wanna check out some of those videos, um, be sure to subscribe to the Guggen Squad channel. They're gonna be amazing. But Alex and I have hung around, like, what is it, a day and a half extra? Yeah. Uh, we actually have to go back up to Camp Claw today, which isn't a bad thing. We figured we'd sneak in some early morning fishing, and uh, the main goal and the main mission is to chase after a little bit of everything. We may even go to Martha's Vineyard because it's literally right behind me. It's incredible how close it is to Falmouth. Might get some stripers. So we're kind of going for an ultimate New England trifecta at the moment. But yeah, let's see if we can see some fish rising. Stick with it, stay tuned, and let's go get them. Those are not too bad. Oh, dude, they're everywhere. I haven't done this for too long, but if I had to make an estimated guess, that's a fish that's going like 10 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour. In other words, we've got albacore under the boat. Big time now. Don't forget to do it. Okay, you had a chance. Oh, pretty good ones too at that. Oh, good oh, oh, oh. Let's see what happens here. Are you kidding me? Oh, striper. They're striper. They're striper. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, dude, not a bad one. Is that a bluefish or striper? That's a decent striper. What the hell? Switch things up. The Albies weren't panning out, so figured we bunk some stripey boys. That's a pretty good one too. <laughs> Epic. Come here, Bubba. Come here, Bubba. Do your thing, do your thing. Oh, first meet in the boat of the day. Actually, we're on uh, Martha's Vineyard right now. We took a little three mile ride from the beach where we were trying to catch the Albies, which did not work. And now we are Stroking some stripey boys on big top water. These are like the most top water eat conditions I've fished in a long time. Overcast, low pressure. Look at that. 
first Martha's Vineyards fish. So dirty. Let's get him back. Oh, wow. Good one. Sheesh, that wasn't bad. Like mid 20s? Yeah. We'll take that all day. Let's get some more. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. That's a good one. That's a decent one, dude. Holy. That's actually half decent fish, dude. This is a nine foot rod. This feels pretty good. This is a good fish. Holy shit, dude. Like this actually might be good. Unless I got them like foul hooked. Oh, they're going off. Oh my goodness. Sweet. First time on Martha's Vineyard. It's not too bad. I think we have a pretty decent one. It might be foul hooked or something. Either that or it's a good fish. Yeah, it's foul. I knew that felt so weird. <laughs> not a bad striper regardless. I was like, dude, that feels pretty good. <laughs> it feels like an upper 30s. Nope, just a wee little guy hooked funny. We're literally fishing like this four foot flat that's got sand and grass. And uh, just like we would be albacore fishing, we're kind of following the birds, watching the bait and the stripers nearby. These guys are a little more cooperative than the albacore. A little bit easier to catch these stripers. But uh, yeah, doesn't mean that they're any less cool to catch. They're probably one of my favorite fish to target out here on the Cape. Or I guess we're not in the Cape anymore. This is technically Nantucket. I mean, Martha's Vineyard. Martha's Vineyard. Sorry, I like Nantucket better. <laughs> Here we go. Good fish. See a bubaloo? Tape though. Striker. Little, wow, little baby. Holy moly. This is the size of hair. See if we can get one. They like a dollar short. Let's do the name of the game. It's a sick boat, a regular. Yeah. Oh yeah, on me, on me, on me. There we go. That was cool. Oh, pulled hooks. Oh, he came back. Another one, another one right behind it. He's still on it, he's still on it. Oh my God, that was so sick. <laughs> he pulled hooks, that was awesome. I fucking love striper fishing. Pulled hooks on two fish. And then lastly, another one comes through. Wow, they just, these fish are so much fun. They are so epic. These ones may not be like big, big, but oh my gosh, I'm like here, like we can't beat this. Just throwing top waters for stripy boys. A few feet of water. I love it. I love it. Oh, I see them, they're like suspended. Oh, so cool on the dirt bait. Running right at me. Running right at me. Is that a bluefish? No. Little striper. Wow, tiny, tiny, tiny guy. I always get the little ones. Wow, you can see them like just suspended down there on the panoptics. Look at that. They're just waiting. Do we talk? Yeah. Oh, let me just get all the water out of my out of my face. Well, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. This is this is the Cape for you. Just greasy weather. It's getting to be fall up here in the northeast, and this is the weather that comes with it. So what did we do? We started off trying to chase the albacore. I saw like two, literally I saw two. And we gave that what, like an hour and a half, almost two hours, nothing. Not a feed, not a blitz. So we figured we'd go try to catch the other fish that we're after today, that being striper. I feel like we succeeded. Uh, didn't catch as many as I anticipated, but we got on a few good like blitzes, like micro blitzes, uh, up actually at Martha's Vineyard, which is about five miles or six miles from the harbor that we're going back into right now. That was good, got him on the top water, like you can't beat that. We're gonna get real tricky here. We're gonna take the boat off the water and put it back on the trailer and go to another spot, different beach. I could run there, but by the time I get there, I'd be empty and I probably would be even wetter because the storm's that way. So we just figured we'll take our time, wait for that outgoing tide, maybe try to squeeze in a bluefish. At the very least, if you get like an albina striper in one day, it'd be pretty successful. So we're in the Falmouth Harbor right now, about to put this, this big old behemoth back on the trailer 
and we'll meet you guys at spot number two. Yeah. Oh, he's right on it. I don't know if he's gonna. I don't know if he's gonna eat it. When they're right on it, just stop it. Okay. So they can come down, sip on it. He 100% uh, turned off. No, I had him. Really? See the wake right there. See the wake. He put slack in my line. That's awesome. He just puts. Yeah, 100%. I looked down for a second. I got slack line. It was 100% him. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, you see it where that fish just jumped. What, right there? The, yeah, off to the right of that, he's still working. I see him now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a little bit more interest in him. Let's go find him. What, to the right or left? Um, to your right. Um, get that cross off your uh, hook. Oh. You're going to pop back up at your 1 o'clock. Where that's where the hook is. Right yeah, there. Right there. Where's he going? This way? I didn't see anything. Looks like he's going this way. How sick was that, dude? Go, That's man. unreal. That is unbelievable. <laughs> How cool. How cool is that on a shrimp? Oh, it's not a bad one either. How wicked is that? What just happened is honestly made the entire day. I'll explain to you here once we get this guy close to the boat. It's probably one of the better stripers we've caught this whole trip. And the way we caught it was absolutely insane. This thing is still really, this thing is green as hell. Dude, these are some good fish up here. Yeah, not a bad one. There we go. Got him. <laughs> are you joking me? So what just happened there is we've experienced a bit of New England fishing blues. We got swerved by the Albies, but now we are in this, this back bay and it's really low tide. And we just all of a sudden kind of stumbled upon these guys in what, maybe six inches of water, a foot? And they're grubbing on what we have to guess is probably crabs. That's a long slender boy. That's so freaking cool. I'm gonna put him back, let him live. Oh my gosh. But the cool thing about all this is we're catching them on literal artificial shrimp with a jig head, seven foot four rod, 20 pound test ultralight stuff, casting basically onto the bank and bring it through. This is basically red fishing in New England, but instead of redfish, we've got striped bass. This is so weird. I know people probably do this, and I know for a fact guys do this on the fly, they'll throw crab flies. And one of the first times I went fly fishing with Kyle and Cole, we caught one on the crab fly, but this is wildly different because it's a little bit more ass backwards just because you don't think of throwing shrimp patterns or any sort of like shrimp lures in the northeast. This just doesn't make any sense, but it's so damn cool. We still have a, a good amount of bank left to fish. So we're gonna see if we can get some bigger ones. We saw a couple that, you know, estimated to be like mid thirties, lower thirties, which is a very nice fish for just a few inches of water. So we're redeeming ourselves a little bit here. The Albies suck today at least, but the stripers are pulling through epic.